Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm showcasing to you how you can repeat the Union Depository over and over again with this replay method. If you guys do enjoy, do be sure to like and subscribe as we are on the road to hitting 10,000 subscribers. I will be demonstrating the fastest way you can complete the Union Depository and then I'll then be showing you how you can replay it over and over. If you guys do have any questions, do be sure to ask down in the comment section as I do respond to every single comment. Let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is make sure you have the Union Depository set up in your auto shop. Then, all you need to do is simply start it up. What you want to do is follow exactly what the game tells you to do. Once you make your way to this black armoured vehicle, all you want to do is drive it exactly where I drive it to and then get out. All you want to then do is run into the corner of the building over here and it will teleport you through the wall. You then scan your ID, all you want to then do is run forward a little bit, look to your left, then go look behind you. And you'll be able to scan right on the d-pad and go straight into the elevator without doing all the waiting. Then go up to the vault and steal all the gold. Once you steal all the gold, make your way back to the elevator and you want to start killing all the police. I'm going to showcase you the best way to do it. So I recommend doing it slow peeking around. I have got no aim assist on. If you've got aim assist on, then you can literally just hold down L2 and it'll instantly target every single police. However, this way here, I've got to do it slowly, so slowly peeking around, killing every single one of the police. Make sure when you do walk out of the archway to look to the right, as there is a policeman standing to the right that you can't see here, that will end up shooting you and maybe killing you. Once you've killed him, you want to then run to the left instead of running to the right. A lot of times I'd run to the right, but instead, this is the fast enough here. You want to run to the left, make sure you kill any of the SWAT members that spawn behind you and then you want to kill all the police members that are standing behind the police car. Make sure you have got a bunch of snacks and a bunch of armor to restock so you do not die. All you want to then do is kill the rest of the police and then run forward a little bit and run back and that will cause the SWAT to then be triggered to spawn. If you don't do that and you run straight to the police car you'll get shot and you'll die. So make sure you run forward to trigger the SWAT to spawn then run back and hide behind cover and kill the rest of the SWAT members. There'll be four SWAT members by the police car and there may be two that spawn behind you. Once you've killed all six, run into the car, make sure to eat some snacks and apply some armor and then drive exactly where you see I drive the police car. This is a much faster method than going all the way to your personal vehicle as you can simply drive away in this police car. Make sure you follow exactly where I go on the map as we're going to show you how you can get in a helicopter and escape really fast. As soon as you get over to this wall over here, you want to jump out of the police car and run up the wall and follow it exactly where I go. Be careful on this wall over here as you may fall off. If you start getting shoot from the helicopter, then I recommend turning around and killing the driver out of the helicopter and then carrying on. All you want to then do is climb up these vents over here and make your way onto the roof above. You'll then see a helicopter that is spawned. All you want to do is jump up this wall over here and shoot the window of the door of the helicopter. So you're able to skip the part of you punching through the window, which takes a lot longer, which may cause you to die. As soon as you take off the helicopter, all you want to do is then make your way to where the yellow waypoint is. I'm now going to slow down the gameplay so you can see exactly what I do. At this point here is the important part in order to replay this. I'm doing this on old gen, so I'm not 100% sure if you're able to do this on new gen. I haven't tested it out yet. But I want to get this out as soon as I can just to showcase it does still work. You'll see you get the first flash on your screen and the NPCs are coming over to grab your bag. You'll then get received the money and as soon as you see your screen flash right now, you want to then disconnect your internet. So I recommend doing this by pulling out your LAN cable or if you have a hotspot connected, you want to disconnect your hotspot. You then get this alert that shows up on screen, you want to accept it and load into story mode. As soon as you load into story mode, all you want to then do is load back into a new invite only session. Once you've loaded into this new invite only session, you'll see on your screen it will say contract complete, which normally happens. 
and you'll see you've got the money in the top right of your screen in cash. You can then make your way back to where the board is and you can simply start the union depository again, repeating this over and over again, making you max amounts of money. I recommend doing this as fast as you can as this will be patched very soon. Like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to now replay this once again to show you how you can repeat this just so you can see the full length of the job and how I can complete it in the fastest time. It's Pod's logo and I'm out. Peace. Thank you.